Wooden windows can be custom made to match the style of the home's existing windows, such as this traditional double hung, with its upper and lower sections which open independently of each other. Manufacturers make windows from a variety of woods. This company, targeting the high end of the market, uses mahogany, a premium hardwood that's rot resistant. This computer-guided saw cuts pieces in the lengths required. The next machine, called the jointer, squares the edges and smooths the surfaces. Now they mill each piece to the final shape. A vacuum holds it steady on a pod, while a computer-guided router works at it from all angles, using up to 33 different tools from its onboard magazine. This piece will be part of a curved window. One tool cuts the basic shape, another profiles, another bores holes for the dowels which will connect it to adjacent pieces. Twelve different tools later, the final shape. An assembler pours glue in the holes, then inserts wood dowels. Their fluted contour allows the glue to flow all around the dowel, maximizing adhesion. Next, aligning the dowels in the holes of the adjacent pieces, he connects the top and bottom pieces, the rails, with two side pieces, the styles. This forms the window sash. He clamps it in a hydraulic press that's calibrated to apply just the right amount of pressure to join the parts as tightly as possible. He sets the glue with a radio frequency heating device. They return the piece to the computer-guided router for the final milling. This sideways saw, called a kerf, cuts a slot down each side for weather stripping. For double-hung windows, another tool cuts openings along the edge for weighted cords that counterbalance the sash. Then they put the finished sash, one side at a time, through a sanding machine to remove tool marks and prep the surface to receive paint primer. They install the muntins, short pieces inside the sash that form decorative squares. First, the horizontal pieces, then the vertical ones. Each square will contain its own pane of glass. They sand the muntins by hand to smooth the surface for finishing. Then the sash goes to the paint booth, where they spray it with a water-based primer. When the primer dries, the sash goes to the glazing department, where they cut the glass to size. This is a single pane window. Windows can also have double or triple panes, separated by an aluminum spacer bar, and often with gas injected in between for added insulation. The glazer applies a bead of caulk to the inner ledge of the sash, then sets the glass on it. He secures the glass in place by one of two methods, either by driving in tiny flat nails, called glazing points, or by caulking the perimeter and applying small moldings, called glazing beads. then fastening them to the sash with small nails. Once the glass is secure, he removes the excess caulk, cleans the glass, and inspects it to ensure it's free of marks and scratches. The final step is to install the hardware, which varies by window style. A double-hung window has a bar lift on the bottom and a latch that locks together the two independently hung sashes. You release the latch to open either one. Once the sashes are installed, they're ready to be painted any color, a distinct advantage of a wood window.